Way back show with Money B. Money B. Your home for classic hip hop. Raw and uncut. 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 <laughs> you sounded real excited, uh, Tom T. What's going on? Oh, I lost my voice, though. And of course, I'm joined by my outstanding. <laughs> Co-host, the lovely Tyne Teasy in the building. Hey, what's going on? And the silver fox that rocks. My man, DJ Always, what it do? What what's it happening, do? man? How you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. You know, the dubs, dubs up. Right. We're doing it right now. <laughs> Golden State. You guys are on fire. Bay Area. Fire. Killing right now. <laughs> on fire, we man. We just this kicked crazy. Indiana's ass. That was supposed to be a test. And it actually ended up, at the end, being a little... I mean... They actually got within nine. <laughs> Single digits. Yeah, it scared, it scared me. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, that's how it is. Uh, so let's find out what's going on. What's been happening with you, Ty Teasy? Tell us about it. Oh, nothing. Just lost my voice. That's about it. Seems like it's been a long time since we did. I know, right? Didn't we do a show last week? We sure did. She, she wasn't here. Were you? Uh, yes, uh, yes, I was. You were? It just seemed like it was a while back. All right. Right? Right. Yeah. Wow. It's been a minute. So what's been so happening? Happening? <laughs> Nothing. Just <laughs> taking care of Lord Tariq. He's sick again. Daycare. Oh. Got him. So that's about it. Just taking care of the boy. That's that's about it. Always. The voice is the result of Tariq's sickness, right? I no, honestly I lost my voice. It's just oh. gone. You on that mind, huh? <laughs> why, why I got to be me? Damn. Because you at the house. Right? <laughs> no, I woke up and it was gone. I didn't even... She know. woke up like this. She woke up like she this. Woke up like this. There was no screaming, no yelling, no nothing. I understand. All right. It happened. All right. Yeah. Um, it's coming off a great uh, show weekend with uh, Digital Underground and Mun and Son of Hump. It was, I had a great time out there. Uh, I think everybody that we performed for was great. Uh, had a good time too. Right. Um, that was like the highlight of my weekend, man. Uh, I couldn't come down from that. Very you know, good. Everybody was asking about it. Yeah, it was a really great show. Let me elaborate. Um, shout out to Rose Law Group. Uh, we did a, a private. Look at the law firm. They are a a all encompassing, like a a, a law a, a law firm that has. Attorneys different, that different do, divisions. yeah. So they, you know, they cover it all. So we were Tracking. there. We were meeting all of these people. Like we met, uh, I met a person that does marijuana law, right? And you know, made that contact, especially for Z four twenty. Then they don't have to put you on a payroll. Soon. Looking out, Ma- Melissa, who was who was our main contact. She was more of a um, like a zoning. And dealing with, um, I want to say like buildings and property, real estate, and pro- all that, yeah. property, uh-huh. real pro- estate, yeah, yeah, property and real estate law. Um, I met the mayor of Scottsdale. Oh, nice. Did you get a picture? I didn't. Uh, uh, somebody did. I think I'm somebody sure did. Some pictures yeah. were taken. Um, the the um, what's her name? Jalen or Jalen? I want to say Jalen Rose. Right. But her name was like Jordan Rose. Jordan Rose. The, the woman that was in the picture Rose, that owns, law group. Yeah. owns the law firm. She was very happy with the performance. So it kind of, it was all good, man. You know what I'm saying? Love to get into more of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're getting into more of it. You might as well. Nah, nah, fuck that. <laughs> you know what we do. So enough about me. Right about now is the moment you've all been waiting for, which is... It's the old school new news with Tan T. Thanks, man. I got an exclusive. Okay, dope. This happened in Scottsdale, Arizona. Whoa. Somebody was robbed. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't get to talk about that. Go ahead. No, right. Well, you got pictures. It was because uh, it was in the news. That's why. I don't have pictures, but. My insiders told me that Money B was robbed while he was in Scottsdale. He walked into his room, and there was some man there 
going through his stuff and then later found out he stole his beanie and his sweatshirt. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. I, can, can I talk about that? This nigga was chilling. Oh, no, go ahead. He wasn't, go ahead. He wasn't sipping. He was chilling. But wait, he no, called that's, down. That's, he called down in. to the front desk and was like, "There was a guy in my room," and he's like, "Oh, well, we already have the cops here. Is he wearing a beanie?" Mine was like, "Yes, that's my beanie." <laughs> Actually, I, I mean, I could elaborate on it, but it would take too long. Yeah, but let me But just, that was it. Real quick, real yeah. quick. Because I know y'all in there like, what the fuck? Dude. Look, we did a show in Scottsdale, right? So we hanging out. Long you know, story I'm, short. I'm making sure short. Selling merch. So around midnight or one, I come back to my room. Now, I've been drinking. Open my door. There's some dude in my room. In the room, dog. And I'm just like, what the fuck? And, I, and I'm like, all I remember was like, you know, like, Dog, this is my room. I don't know if they double booked it or what. I'm like, get out. You feel me? So he leaves. I, I pass out at about five o'clock in the morning. I wake up and, you know, excuse me, but I, I go take a shit. Dispose himself. So I'm sitting on the toilet and the door knocks. It's like five in the morning. Door knocks. I'm like, who is it? Room service. <coughs> I'm like, room service at five in the morning. I was like, I don't think so. So I didn't even answer it. Then about five minutes later, the door knocks again. I'm still sitting on the toilet. The door opens, and it's the same dude coming back in my room. He stole the damn key. And I'm like, I'm sitting, I'm like trying to wipe my ass. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? He's like, dude, I left, I left some shit. I, I think I left something in here. He's like, I think I left some work in here. I'm like, huh, what? He's like, man, and he's looking, and I'm like, dog, I don't think it's nothing. I was like, you got to go. And he's like, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He finally, as he's walking out, he's like, I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, I lost some white. I think I lost some white in here. And I'm like, what? He's like, what about your friend? I'm like, dog, you don't even drink. Get out. So he's like, okay, cool. He so leaves. now, So now you have to start using the security Yeah, I'm going to have to use a, the damn chain on my door. Wondering but, why Chris uses his. But come to yeah, find out, he, yeah. always comes, it's like, dude, it's, did that dude steal your sweater? He had stole my sweater and my fucking 49ers beanie that was in my thing. Now, mind you, he came back to my room not knowing that I didn't know he stole something out of my room. So had I known that, there would have been a confrontation. Been a mm -hmm. And I was just saying, like, if this is how he's living, he must be prepared for that type of living. So he could have had a knife or whatever, um, you know. So that was just kind of... very fortunate if he didn't rob you at knife point or gun or point. something because there was three he, of us he was bold walking through that hotel there was three yeah. of us it, he it, said it was a nice hotel yeah so fit, and it was like a resort style hotel which was crazy so that was an exclusive yeah it was an exclusive. <laughs> oh my gosh Go okay ahead. so let's uh congratulate kanye west and kim kardashian west they uh welcomed their baby boy over the weekend right <clears throat> now there was rumors going around that his name was easton west <laughs> <laughs> that was a trending topic on twitter That's but funny. his name is actually saint west so con congratulations to them congratulations right that's dope and Birth of a new child big sean actually had his house burglarized they took some items out of his home out of a safe and um, it's, they think it's an inside job because the guys knew exactly where the safe was hidden. And so they, they said that he lost, like, thousands in the home burglary he was while he was in they Dubai. They had time. Yeah, they yeah. had time. So he was posting <laughs> pictures out in Dubai, so they knew he was gone and just got him. That's Sometimes thing. you're not supposed to Can't. post your pictures. See, I didn't post nothing. When we, when we was in Vegas, yeah. we didn't post anything either. You don't. You can't. That's yeah, the thing. The, 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 the thing that you do... Is I've, I was always told when you go, like if I'm showing you pictures of my vacation, that mm -hmm. means I was there a week ago. Like right. I'm not gonna show you while I'm, I'm gone. Right, right. So right. you know I'm I gone and shit like that. Like my parents used to do, they used to pack the car up at night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so it looks like Nas and Erica Badu will be working together. Nas is going to oversee a soundtrack for the movie called The Land. And that movie is going to debut out at, at the Sundance Film Festival in January. I do is on top of it right now. She's and um, Two Chains have a uh, a charity called True Foundation, and what he's doing now is next year he's going to pay 
uh, this lady, she's a single mom. She, he's going to pay her rent for an entire year. So that's nice. a good look for uh, two change in his true foundation. And congratulations to Kendrick Lamar. He has earned 11 nominations for the 58th annual Grammys Award. Drop. So he, he's in the categories of Best Rap Performance, Best Rap Collaboration. Um, Common and John Legend is also in that category for Glory. Um, Nicki Minaj, Drake, Lil Wayne, and Chris Brown for Only. Um, he's also in the category for Best Rap Song, along with Kanye West, Drake, Common, and John Legend, and Fetty Wap. Wow, <laughs> Fetty Wap. <laughs> um, Best Rap Album. Dr. Dre is also nominated for nice. the album Compton. Compton, nice. So um, the others in that category is J. Cole, Drake, and Nicki Minaj. So out of those, who do you guys think is going to win the award? Kendrick. Yeah. Best album? That is the best rap album, yes. Kendrick or J. Cole? Yeah, I don't I don't see it for well, Dr. J. Dre. Well, yeah, J. Cole, man. Um... Yeah, I go with Kendrick. Okay. I go with Kendrick. And that's this week's old school new news on the Going Way Back show with my man Money B. And as always, like our uh, our subscribe to our Facebook. Shit. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> Click the like button, share, and leave a comment. There it is. We're gonna take a break. When we come back, we got um uh interesting topic for the day. Um we're going to talk about solo artists that were in classic or iconic groups okay. that did just as well as solo artists. And there's a lot that we can talk about. Yes. Uh, of course, we got our Herb is the Word segment. Nice. And we got some giveaways for who said it. So stick around. And the number to call is... 855-878-4652. We'll be right back on the Going Way Back show. Money B. Money B. Money B. Hey, this is Money B from Herb is the Word. The word on the herb today is abroad. That's right, abroad. We all know about the fight in the U.S. to legalize marijuana for medicinal and recreational reasons, but it doesn't stop here. Our neighbors just to the north in Ontario, Canada, have just made smoking weed and vape pens legal in public. When I say public, that means parks, movie theaters, restaurants, and almost anywhere that doesn't have a liquor license. While we're talking abroad, if you plan on traveling through the holidays, there's a new company called BudandBreakfast.com that will book a room, condo, or house for you here and abroad. What separates this company from others is that all of their properties are 420 friendly and will take your order and have your weed waiting for you when you arrive. I even heard they leave a joint on your pillow. Sweet dreams. Be sure to check out my show, Herb is the Word, only on Z420 TV. It's Money B. Checking out. <laughs> Rakim is one of them dudes. Every time I see 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 that, especially that video, I just get so amped. Yeah, like, right. So is it true he did a whole album without pesting? Yeah, and that's a, it, that's that's an interesting fact. You know, at the time when Rakim was out, he was known as one like one of the hardest lyricists, but he never cussed in any of his records. Right. And take note, youngins. You wouldn't even you wouldn't even think that because he just seemed like he seemed like that type of dude that would. Huh? Well, not even oh. not even that. I'm just saying his lyrics were so hard. He it didn't seemed, have to cuss. Yeah, without using profanity, they were just that. Hard. They was gangster. Yeah. Without cussing or, or whatnot. I thought that. I mean, not knowing that and then realizing it's uh -huh. like, God damn, that's like, hey, you think about it, it's like, yeah, I never really did cuss. You could say, you could play this for your mama. Right. <laughs> you, you really could. Yeah. You play a whole song on the radio without any beats. Not even have to splurge it out. Any. And and it, and it's funny talking about. Um, Rock him because you know Eric being rock him, mm -hmm. and he'll probably fall into the, the the latter category. But like I said, I kind of wanted to just talk about acts that um, were in 
like iconic hip hop groups or hip hop groups that were, that were you know that did well, mm -hmm. but then were just as successful as solo artists. Mm. So I mean, go ahead, name, name some. And if you and if you got some out there that you that you want to mention, your favorites, please call us up. Eight five five eight seven eight four six five two. We want to hear you. Leaders of the old school. Say what? Leaders. Buster Rhymes. Did you say leaders of the old school? Leaders of the new school. <laughs> that sound like something I was. I've, I've of had the... a taste. Sorry. Right, yeah. <laughs> I leaders of the new school. It. Yeah. Hey, hey, what? he had that work. Less than that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother me. I'm working. <laughs> nah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, Busta, Busta Rhymes. Busta Rhymes, man, killed. Probably still killing it. Because I think a lot of people don't even remember him from Leaders of the New mm -mm. School. I do. Yeah, I mean, because yeah. it, mean, mean, meaning that his career was such that you forget that he was exactly in a group. And then we, I mean, some of the obvious ones are um, Ice Cube. Definitely. With NWA. NWA. Um, uh, Grand Pooba. Brand Nubian. Brand Nubian. Tupac. 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 With Digital Underground. Do you? Yeah. Uh, Scarface with the Ghetto Boys. Um, yes. Let's see. I mean, Money B or Raw Fusion. That was before. Do you? Well, well. Yeah, I'm about to say you. Yeah, you have to. You might have to put me on the other side on the other left. <laughs> One of the struggle. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what the fuck you gonna say? Yeah. What you say? <laughs> say it with your chest, <laughs> goddammit. I don't want to lose my little job. Too late. That, that I'm not getting paid for. Because you make me come in when I don't have a voice. For those who tell you. Anyways. Okay, so was a T boy a part of a group? He, he was, was part uh, of um, Player DGP. Circle. Or, was it, was or Player Circle. Yeah, well. Player Circle, but they really didn't. Right. They they weren't. You can look at my list if you want. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's right here. I know. <coughs> you got Lil Wayne with the Hot Boys. Hot Boys. And yeah. interesting about the Hot Boys is that well, they actually, had a bunch of yeah. well, Juvenile, BG, and even Turk, but Juvenile and BG were actually. They had already before they formed the Hot Boys. They had already had records and and were already had a name in the city. Right. And so they, you know, Baby kind of put like this super group locally right. together, right. and then put his son in the group because Wayne hadn't done anything because he was only like fourteen years old at the time. How about Method Man? Was he ever really solo, or is he? Well, the, you know, I, I put Wu Tang in their own category only because uh, Wu Tang was kind of like Digital Underground. Is they all were actually solo artists before they were in Wu Tang. They kind of. So would you say Baby and then took the same idea? Bunch of artists. I don't know. Well, maybe, well, maybe, well then maybe we can. Yeah. Well, maybe we can put Wu Tang in it. But I think if if, if that's the case, then Wu Tang is like a, a all star group because damn near everybody came out of that group. But and and this is why this is why I put Wu Tang in a separate category because um, the RZA was Prince Raheem who was actually on Tommy Boy with us. Right. And he had you know he had a record out. Um, uh, the Jizzle was the genius who had a record in a whole different persona. He was the genius with a tie and with uh -huh. fucking uh -huh. Kwame. Uh -huh. You feel me? Yep. <laughs> so you had uh, um, Prince Raheem or whatever, the genius. Um, you know, I don't know what the other guys were doing, but what I'm saying is they had records out. Before. Before. Exactly. But you would say that Method Man probably at his peak Meth, was Ray just Kwan, yeah Ray Ghost, Ghost Meth Ray and Ghost ODB ODB of course probably more so All than of any them, of them man. I mean and, yeah. and Jizza is more on the production end of it because he's you know he he's not movie score you know you mean RZA I mean RZA I was gonna say who the hell is Jizza Jizza no, I said Jizza. Uh, who the fuck RZA. is Jizza? I'm sorry, Jizza, Rizza. Jizza, Jizza. You know. 
Isa, 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 Isa. Isa, Isa. Uh, if you guys out there want to share, call us up, 855-878-4652. Yeah, we want to hear from you guys. Um, you also have, for some of our true old school hip-hop fans, Kumo D, because he was in The Treacherous yeah. Three. Yeah. And in and, and the... And, uh, late seventies, early eighties, like when hip hop was first really, really blowing up. Treacherous Three was 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 the was was at a time the most popular and respected group. And you know, it was uh, Kumo D, Special K, L.A. Sunshine, and Kumo came out of that. Now I'm, I'm reaching a little bit for this one, but this is actually true. Um, I'll say Big Daddy Kane because Big Daddy Kane was Roxanne Shantae's DJ. Right. For a long right. time, Kane was all in the mix. Nobody I didn't know that. Really know. Before, oh, yeah. yeah, he was. But he then was, again, I'm not a hip. He was. He was Shantae's um, DJ before he he kind of uh, took off. Let's see some other ones real quick. You want to do uh, a Who said it? Oh yeah, we are gonna do this. Move. Who said it? All pertaining to the subject as well. Um, then you had Gangstar, where Guru and Premier both did well. Individually, yep. um, Feral Mach from Organized Confusion, my label mate, who nice. actually way out did you know? I think his his star and reach way out out did Organized originally. Shout out to Prince Poe, my would you, guy. Uh, would you throw a uh, uh, yeah, shout you know, out to Prince Poe, Fredro Star in there, and then from Onyx and and uh, as an actor. I don't think he really is did it, much I mean, as a solo so artist, we, or just as a star. It, right. So are we just talking about on 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 the music tip, or just as being a star and branching out and being well. We, great. Well, if we add that, then we got to, of course, add Will Smith. Definitely, because he. Yeah. Because man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then you got Juicy J from Three Six Mafia. Yeah. Because Juicy J is forty eight years old, and very relevant right now <laughs> yeah. with his big. Peyton Man in head. <laughs> I think him and Peyton Man are related in the head. <laughs> Hilarious. I ain't got no big head. Don't look at me like that. Just saying that's over my head. You don't know who Juicy J is? Juicy yeah, I know. Juicy J. Juicy J. But you don't that's know who Juicy J is. I know who they are. It's hard out here for them. Yeah, what's that trick? And of course, you got <laughs> CeeLo <laughs> Green mm-hmm. from, uh, oh, yeah, that's from Goody Mob. From yeah. Goody Mob. Um, all the guys from the locks. Um, Wyclef Jean and Lauren Hill Fugees. coming out of Fuji's, which will take me to the Prize. flip side yeah. of the guys who not so much were prizes on that side because yeah. he didn't do shit. Yeah. Shout out to Prize, but he wasn't the greatest MC. At then you have Flavor Flav, who tried to branch out, but then of course he did the TV thing. He and, he got famous that way. I mean, he he blew up better more that way. Right. For, and then, you, reality uh, show. and then you had like um, EPMD, and then you had Eric Sermon who did well, and then PMD who did not do so well. And then, I, I, you know, one more, uh, y'all know JT Money. JT he, Money! He was in the Poison Clan with, with Luke wow. and all of that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't remember that. That's one I didn't know. Right. And then rest in peace, Sean P. Helter Skelter. Who kind of did his thing? He came on in the end. Wait, um, Jay Z was part of a group before. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. He was yeah, with he that was. guy. He was with. He wasn't in um, Jazz's group. He just rapped on Hawaiian Sophie with Jazz. I thought they. I thought they came out with stuff together. They. They. He wasn't through. Like Jazz had an album. Yeah. Jay Z wasn't on the whole album. Like they weren't. He was on. They weren't songs. a group. Meaning that Jazz. Jazz. Jazz O's album didn't say Jazz O. And Jay Z, it's just say jazz o. It's just jazz o. Right. And He, he was wasn't. Guest on to yeah, he right. just. You know, because if if you want to do that, Jay Z was was Kane's hype man for a bunch of tours that we did. Right. Right. So um, we're gonna take a break. Uh, we're gonna come back with e- Urban Drive. Urban's the word, and we're gonna do the um the first part of who said it because we're gonna be giving away exclusive ultimate digital underground. You can't buy it in stores or online. You can only get it right here. All right? So call us up. 855-878-4652. Get that exclusive Ultimate Digital Underground. You know, featuring my man Pac. 
Big pun on this thing. Uh, man, it's got some shit on it. I'll talk about it when we come back. It's the Going Way Back Show with Money B. Money B. Money B. Money B. What up? It's your man Money B from Herb is the Word, and this is The Word on Earth. Just in time for the holiday season, a Nebraska man was pulled over on the 80 freeway and gave police permission to search his car. The police found two boxes wrapped as Christmas gifts with 34 heat sealed packages of marijuana, totaling 11 pounds inside them. Talk about Christmas trees. <laughs> I'm Money B, and be sure to check out my show, Herb is the Word, only here on Z420 TV. Keep smoking. Christmas time is a near. I think that's my favorite Christmas hip hop joint. Yeah, it, it it really hit home with a lot of people. Are there any other? I mean, there's a bunch of others, but I think that's my favorite. And, you know, staying on topic, both Run and DMC kind of branched out and did their thing. I think Run was was definitely had success on TV with his, with his shows, or with his family, with his sons. Definitely. <laughs> DMC, he's still rocking. That's my man, but he's still rocking. <laughs> That's my guy. At least he's still getting work. Yeah, he's still getting work. So, you know, nah, man. I, I, I call that a win. <laughs> um, sure. Before we get into the Urban's Word segment, I kind of want to give, do the first um, who said it, because I really want someone to call in and win an exclusive ultimate digital underground CD and like I said you can't buy it online you can't buy it in stores and actually only 50 physical copies exist oh really right and if, now even if you don't guess it call us we'll give you one even if you try to guess it yeah 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 maybe <laughs> and let me tell you let's see it's got uh, we got um obviously Joint Tupac is on it, you know. It's all it's basically all the digital underground main hits, but then one that a lot of people don't know about, the Mission featuring Big Pun, which was the shit. Uh, you want to give them a little bit of bit of that if you can? Did you cue it up? Just so y'all get a taste of what's on this joint. Yo, what the deal, shot? Love, you know me keeping the hills cock still riding them down for hundred pounds of steel cock to feel how to warm you up. I never call you slut on this shoe, that's why my initials is on your butt. Yeah, I get yeah, it yeah. up when you need it. Yeah, Pun was doing that thing. So keep in keep in mind the theme still is uh artists that branched out from major groups and had major success. So who is our first who said it, Ty T? Okay. <laughs> Clear your throat. Me, 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 me. <laughs> okay. See, I don't want to be a dope man. Listen, I don't have a dime or a nickel, a penny, or a pot to piss in. Who said it? Yeah, you fucked me up with that. And I wrote it. <laughs> Say it one more time, but give me a little more flow, T Z. You just got a big clue the there, people. Because your voice is out, so you got to give it to him a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> See, I don't want to be a dope man. Listen, I don't have a dime, a nickel, a penny, or a pot to piss in. Who said it? All right, I'm going to give y'all a hint because I want y'all to, to win the CD. You already did. Huh? You already did. Well, I'm going to give him a hint. Ultimate Digital Underground. All right? So give him the number one more time. 855-878-4652. Call us up. So now it's time for Herb is the Word. Okay, today's word of herb. <clears throat> Of the herb of word, or word herb, of the herb, herb of word. Herb, herb, is, herb, the herb word. is the word. Herb is the word, and the word, word is herb. zooted. 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 Um, just because, you know, I want to know what's the, give me or tell me about your highest experience. Like the time he's like, I am high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know y'all got stories out there. I'm asking you, I'm asking you, asking and me. I'm asking you out there um, <laughs> in Z420 land to call us up. 
and tell us, you know, your your one of your highest experiences. And you know, I'm saying that because, you know, one thing that um, I and you know, I don't want to pull up and have to read it, read the information, but I hear that they are they're gonna start doing herb breathalyzers or cannabis breathalyzers really? when they stop you, and they're gonna start it in San Francisco. Basically, they're trying to get Oakland niggas. I can't measure that. Right? How how can you measure that? You feel me? You like, what's the that? level? And, That'll be tight and, because when people go in for job interviews, they can give them that test instead of having them but go take a test. It's a different wait. of having it in your system, but to get stopped and say you're this high because you 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 blew this or like what's the what's the test that how you are they to gonna take? level it? What, but what how, I'm saying is, I think like, like are you hungry? Like in, how hungry are you? Like in whatever they decide the high is going to be, it will be good you want for a chip? It. Hell if, no! You being rude because I'm trying to get a point out. What's a if you grab drink? it, then they take you as a great drink. You're like, <laughs> hell no! <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, you are. Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Todd. Teasy. Um, go. Aw. <laughs> Always. So tell uh, me, um, give me, give me one of your highest <laughs> experiences. Okay. We have all of those on video. Hilarious. He was drunk. I'm talking about being high. That's the same there's thing. A difference. Those are zooted. Ah, uh, there's a difference. Go ahead. <laughs> um, okay, I was uh, was at home, watching Sports Center. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I always watch the Sports Center. Sports Center. All right, I was watching Sports Center. I had a gig. Now you was, now you was high. Weed. This is, I'm talking about weed. Weed. Okay. Yeah, weed. Just talking about weed. That's my house. <laughs> Shit, I don't know. No, I don't do nothing but weed. Hey, weed not damn it. Weed. Don't judge me. I'm good. <laughs> okay, man. go ahead. No cocaine, no hair on, no needles and nothing. I don't do none of that shit. That shit's terrible. And we believe um, you. You never so, popped the e-pill? No, nah, I haven't. Talk to me. Okay. Not so, sure. <laughs> hilarious. Now nah, go so, ahead. Uh, watch the sports center, right? I fall asleep. Yeah. Now, mind you, I have a gig the next day. Right. At like. You have a call. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. You're talking slow. Right. <laughs> I, I think you're zooted slow. right <laughs> now. He must be high now. I He's am. like, um. Caller, <laughs> what's your name and where you calling from? It's me, Diella. Diella. Hey, D. What up, Diella? You want to guess the who said it? Yeah, NWA. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hell no. God damn it! It was so far off, Diella. Well, thanks for calling. Well, Diella, since we got you on the line, and I know you blow Trey, so give me one of your highest experience that you can that you can recall. Oh, God, when I was Just young and my mom caught me and I was scared for my life. Scared for your life? Damn near be. <laughs> yes, my mom's scary. <laughs> and, uh, she had a paranoid she, moment. She beat me, yeah. It was not fun. She beat the high out of you? <laughs> yep. She, yes. she, she was, sure did. You were high, she, she beat you low. <laughs> She's like, she beat me so bad, I was low. <laughs> I wasn't she high no high I was low. She beat me low. Yeah, that's funny. Well, thanks for calling. Well, think about yeah. it. We got a few more, so call back. All right, Diella. I know you're gonna guess oh, it. I will. All right. All right. <coughs> All right. I'm gonna give you. We got another caller. Okay. Word okay, up. caller. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, what up? This is Mike calling from Oakland, Mike. What's hey, up, Mike. Mike from Oakland? You want to guess up, who out? said it? Tell me about it, Mike. Oh man, I'm gonna tell you, man. We, I was, I was. We, it was the first time, my very first time. And then the girl I was with, she didn't really want to smoke. But then I just decided to smoke, you know, on my own. And when I gave it a shot, I was like, Oh God, what happened? So uh... and then I. Was, it started from laughing and laughing and laughing, and then it just turned into some wild, crazy stuff, man, that I probably shouldn't even stay on there. <laughs> wait, wait, were you able to perform? Oh, yeah, definitely. Better than ever. <laughs> it it kind of sounds like you high right now, Mike. <laughs> yeah. 
you can barely get the story out. Uh, no, no, no. The movement don't stop. It has to keep going. If it stops, that means a pause in between. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I can dig it. Well, 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 Mike, you, you keep blowing, all right? And thanks for well, calling. Sure, like, y'all, y'all keep doing y'all thing, man. Right? Stay up. zooted. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. I can't even hear you. Uh, he he did hear the who said it. Oh, you did? Oh, he's gone now. He said uh, goodbye. Sorry. Oh shit. I was gonna if he was that high, right? It. <laughs> he was that zooted. zooted. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I don't know Good if this call, was uh, one of my highest experiences, but I tell you a, a memorable experience. Where I was like, "Fuck, shouldn't have smoked weed." Um, I actually got my first DUI, not because I was drunk, it was because I was fucking high, and I knew I shouldn't have smoked. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I basically, I got pulled over on the Bay Bridge coming from San Francisco back to Oakland. I was doing like 35 miles an hour on, on the on the bridge. And that's 55. <laughs> and I was just like. He was paranoid? Yeah, I was I was tripping. Paranoid. Yeah, that was kind of like one of, them, one of them ones. I was like, fuck, I shouldn't have smoked. But, I mean, I, we think about it. I, I'll, we'll, we'll talk about it more and more. My long story short, man. I, Hurry I was up. Supposed to watch, I was watching the Sports Center, and I was supposed to do a gig the next, the next day. And I woke <laughs> up, and it was it was sunrise, and I thought it was sunset. And I was fucking calling everybody to get to work, and it was 5 in the morning, not 5 p.m. And I was weak? I was that fucking high. I forgot what <laughs> was time it, it was. Was it a blunt or a joint? It was a blunt. Yeah, them point blunt. Did I tell you about that time my dog was talking to me? Not just playing. <laughs> Made me some pancakes right now. It was bitch. Scooby. <laughs> it anyway. was Scooby. Anyways, huh? we're gonna uh, we're gonna take a uh, last break. When we come back, I think we're gonna move on to the next. Who said it? You know what I'm saying? Maybe uh, Diello or somebody. We'll call back in, but still call call us back with your most zooted stories right here on Z420.tv. All right. I don't think they knew that who said it, so we're going to reveal it, and we're going to do another one. Um, for those, I tried to give y'all a hint. It was Digital Underground. It was actually Tupac. You said I wrote it. <laughs> from D-Flow Shuttle. Did you write it? I didn't write that. Take me. I don't want to be a dope man. Listen, I didn't have a time to and Tom Tizi said it just like that. <laughs> he said it so fast. Okay. Well, this is a redemption. Um, okay, you want me to do the second one? Do the second one. And go ahead and do it. And I'm going to give a hint. And then, because I want somebody to win the CD. Go yeah, 855 878 4652. Here we go. Hear shots and sirens. When I fiend first, they yo rings. Now, they my rings. Who said it? Brad knows. <laughs> Do it one more time. And I'll give you a hint for those that know. This is one of uh, Tan Teezy's favorite artists. And you mentioned him earlier. Go nah. Ahead. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Hear shots and sirens when I fiend first, they yo rings. Now, they my rings. Who said it? 855-878-4652. Where you at, Brown of Valley? <laughs> Talking to my cousin there. He's like, I'm going to win a CD. I know, I saw somebody, that. Dude. Somebody call I'm going to win it. Oh, yeah. Somebody call us up and win the CD. Ultimate Digital you Underground. You can only one. get this it one's pretty, uh, here on the show. Yeah, and, and um, let me give you another hint. Like I said, this is an artist that was in a huge group and broke away. We got a caller. Uh, caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? It's me, D.L. again, the T40. <laughs> <laughs> but he is one of my favorite rappers. No. Come no. on, D.L., one more time. Guess it, nope. guess it. Oh, my God. Say, say it again, say it again, say it again. Hold on, say it again. Say it again, okay. Ty Teasy. Here's it's shots. E okay. It's not E40. Here's shots in sirens when I fiend first stay yo rings. Now they my rings. Uh, I have no clue. Drew down? <laughs> uh, I'm failing. I'm failing. Hold on. Come here. <laughs> what, Colin, what you say? Come, come, come here. Come here. This is our friend Colin. Deanna, listen. You guys are going to have to burn it for right. me Who is it? Is it Ice Cube? What song? Oh, shit. I don't know the song. 
either. It is Ice Cube. <laughs> we'll give you that. At least you got it. Play it. Wow. Wow. Play it. I hope you guys will still be friends with me after this. America's most wanted. Now they're in my ring. So give it up, pump it, and I just put it on the game for you. There it is. We so, still got one more, Diella. Diella, we got you. We got to get out of here. We got a few seconds. Tell them real quick. Bye, you guys. All right, Diella. Thanks for calling. Uh, you can Bye, find me on nice. all Bye. social media at T O N underscore T E E Z Y. Always. You can catch me at uh, R Always on Instagram and Always in the Air, A L W A Y Z N Y A E A R on Twitter. On all social media, at MoneyB69. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and of course check out goingwaybackshow.com we out till next time people please be Be easy easy. it's the going way back show with money b classic hip-hop raw and uncut thanks for visiting the going way back show channel make sure you rate comment and subscribe and click that like button